Hello, welcome to my student digital planner walkthrough. My name is Dinji, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to navigate through your planner, as well as showing you how to do customizations with the templates provided. Our planner is designed to be simple and beginner oriented. We have chosen all the essential pages you need to start with digital planning as a student instead of having hundreds of templates that are not tailor made for students and causing a huge file size that takes up your iPad storage. So, before we get started, make sure on whichever annotation app you chose to use, the read only mode is turned on or that your annotation app supports clicking through the hyperlinks. The app that I'm using right here is GoodNotes. This is also one of the popular apps used for digital planning, which I highly recommend. So I'll use this app for demo. For GoodNotes, the read only button is located at the top right corner here. Select it and tap once on the screen to bring you to a full screen of the plan. Navigate through the pages by swiping. And here it brings you to the index page. It also gives you an overview of what this planner includes. On the right here is the sidebar, which is present in all the pages except the cover. With the read only mode turned on, it gives you easy access to each of the monthly calendars. At the top here, we have the top bar, which again is present in all pages except the cover. The first four buttons are shortcuts to each of the semester overview pages. And on the right here is the link to the yearly calendar, academic index page, and the notebook index page. And here we have the planner info section, which tells you what this planner is. And here is a box where you can put your name. Um, I know a lot of you like having names written on your planner. Over here, we have a button linked to the yearly calendar. And this is how it looks like. Here we have the buttons that are linked to each of the monthly calendars, for example, September. And here we have the notebook section. The white space provided in the tiles is for you to write a title for this particular section. Click on the arrow button to navigate to your selected section. Moving on to the semesters area, probably the most important area for students, we provide four semesters for you to use. The button right here takes you to the semester overview page. And similar to the notebook sections, the white space here is for you to write down the course title or name, and by clicking the arrow button here would take you to the individual course overview page. On the right here are shortcuts to the academic sheets we provided. You can either select the icon or the caption of the button, and it will lead you to the corresponding sheet. Down here, we have the note paper section. Similarly, select either the icon or caption would take you to the corresponding note paper. Now let me walk you through the yearly calendar page. On the left, we have calendars from July 2023 to June 2024. Each of these buttons are clickable and leads you to the corresponding monthly calendar pages. We can easily go back to the yearly calendar page by clicking this button here at the top bar. These little buttons on the left are links to the different weekly planning pages. The planner I am showing you now is of a grid weekly mode. We also provide a schedule weekly mode, which I'll be showing you all later. Each of these pages are also clickable, which links to the corresponding daily planning pages. On the right, we have a section for you to write your year goals followed by a note section, which is a free space for you to write anything you'd like. For example, you can include your wish list or any important events of the year. Now let's talk about the monthly planning pages. I'm currently using the Monday start calendar, meaning each week starts on a Monday. We also provide a Sunday start planner, so don't worry if you start your week differently. The left bar here gives you access to the corresponding weekly planning pages. As a student, it is very important to plan things weekly, so do use them wisely. Each of the days here are linked to its corresponding daily planning page as well. The only ones that are not linked are the very lightly grayed ones here, as they are not covered within this planner period. 
on the right here is a free area for you to write any notes you want for the month. Let's look deeper into the weekly planning page. For the grid weekly mode, each of the days here are clickable and also linked to its corresponding daily planning page. This is how the schedule weekly mode looks like. For those of you who like planning with the schedule or want to improve your time management skills, this will be the right mode for you. Each of the days here are also clickable and linked to its corresponding daily planning page. Now going back to the planner with grid weekly mode. On the right, first off is a space for your weekly goals. By setting weekly goals, it gives you a clear sense of direction for your weekly studies. Next, you can list your weekly priorities. Try to think of the three most prioritized tasks you want to accomplish for the week, such as studying for exams or finish a project that counts for a lot of marks. This ensures you allocate your time and resources efficiently. Down here is a to-do list. Once you've completed an item, you can put a check mark in the box. You can list all your weekly tasks and dues, for example, the assignments you need to complete, I love checking off my to-do items because it gives me a sense of accomplishment. As I mentioned, each of these days are clickable, and down here is a little section for some notes. For the daily planning page, on the left here is where you can write your daily schedule. Having a daily schedule provides structure and organization to your day and helps you minimize distractions, especially when you are having a free blog or after you finish all your classes of the day. You might want to plan ahead and use those free time to do something productive. In the middle here is where you can define your daily goals, priorities, and to-dos, which can keep you focused and motivated for the day. On the right here is where you can write a journal or any notes that you like. You can even do some drawings here. It's a free area for you to express yourself and reflect on your day. Let's go over the semester overview page. This planner contains a total of four semesters. This is a page where you can write down any important information for the semester and that you can frequently refer to. On the left, you can decorate your timetable for the semester. It's in a half hourly format and it's from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. On the right here is where you can list the classes you're taking for the semester. We provide six class slots for each semester. I know uni students usually take four to five classes per semester or sometimes six as well. Next, we have a notes section for you to put any additional information you want for this semester. For example, class drop dates, tuition due dates, or even semester goal. Let's head to one of the course overview pages. This is a page where you can put down any important information about the course all in one place. First of all, here is a space for you to write down the course title, as well as defining an overall target grade. Next, we have the general information, where you can remind yourself of the class times and circle which days the class occurs weekly, and the location. Next, we have the instructor's information, where you can put down their name, email, and office hours. And here is the notes section, where you can write any additional information for this course. For example, textbooks you need to buy, a TA's contact info, or anything you find useful. On the right, we have the important dates table for you to keep track of any important events of this course, for example, listing your midterms and exam dates. I have also included a back button here for you to easily go back to the semester overview page. You can explore each of the academic sheets and note papers we provide. I would like to show you how to customize your planner, duplicate, and use these templates. Again, I am using GoodNotes, but other annotation apps should have a similar process. First, navigate to the template you'd like to use, tap anywhere on the screen, and once the toolbar shows up, select the icon with four squares. Click the little arrow button here and click Duplicate. A duplicated page should show up after your current page. You can now drag and drop to a desired position. For example, I wanted this to be after the notebook section 1 page. And see, when I'm on the section 1 page and swipe to the next page, the duplicated page would appear. You can duplicate any pages, as many as you want, 
and create your own customized planner. That's it for this walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my newsletter for any discounts or updates. My name is Dinji. Enjoy digital planning.